Trio. This is a brotherhood. 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 Exactly. There you go. The brotherhood. The brotherhood. And if you read Genesis and if you're a man of the word, what like you say, the we Hebrew, the we Hebrew, the we Hebrew. So you know, I know you want me to throw that out there. Shalom, brother. If you read, I, I, I like that Genesis teach you first about Joseph. And if y'all ain't in that book, get in that book. Read Genesis. Understand the life of Joseph. Joseph gonna teach you some things. Cause it don't matter wherever Joseph laid his feet, God made him in charge. Yo, what up y'all, Shalom. This King David and I'm back with another message. First off, all praise be to the creator of you and me only forever. I got a lot that the most high, the creator of you and me want me to share with y'all. And it won't me along the way in this quick message and other quick messages to start back dropping, you know, um, or exposing these demons, man, for what they are here doing. Satanic blood sacrifices and all that. Allegedly, I'm going to say for YouTube, but they doing it right in front of our face. Shit, they've been doing it in front of our face. It's a satanic brotherhood and as well, it's a satanic sisterhood as well. And a satanic LGTB community club hood thing all of it man it's out here man one big brotherhood sisterhood etc booty club for satan man and i'm here you know in this real quick video to break down this demonic dc young fly or john is his real name and he looked like a little fly a little gnat faced little devil man I'm going to break down his little scripted talk about reading the story of Joseph, etc. What he was talking about, what he really meant when he referenced the story of Joseph in their so-called Old Testament, etc. Within this message, man, this dude sold his soul a while back, man. Allegedly, allegedly, but I believe it. Gotta say it for YouTube. You know, y'all heard at the beginning of this message, all three of them admitted to being a part of a brotherhood. Y'all just didn't, the majority of y'all, the ones who woke, we knew exactly what he was talking about. He a part of a satanic brotherhood. That's what he really meant. A lot of y'all didn't even know what brotherhood he was talking about. And they do it all in this satanic brotherhood. All, man, the satanic cesspool of sin that you can think of, they do it. All three of these guys sold, they sold to the devil, a satanic, through a satanic, demonic, masonic, you know, organization. They been a part of they straight up out the lodges, you know, um, out here doing comedy, man. Allegedly, I'm going to say for you to begin, but it's clear as day. But yet and still subliminal like the rest of them satanic sellout devil worshipers with the hand symbolism and all that. The way they stand, the 85, the 85 South. I'm going to get deeper into it. It's for some satanic shit, man. In the midst of the satanic blood sacrifices allegedly they have they scripted highlight moment for they satanic success boost in the forefront because they highly weird celebrities okay even this dc young fly with the no tears and all that at this satanic eulogy that he was in the midst of everything that he knew was going to happen allegedly i'm going to say for you too the satanic blood sacrifices we clearly see is their way of you know working their way up in the levels through the levels okay and that's what the 85 you know them going on tour and all that for satan doing all them weak ass jokes when ain't shit funny out here okay um to keep you entertained for satan just laughing at trash okay um they 85 the 85 south that's satanic right there you know going down down south 85 is for the number 13 in their world for some satanic masonic trash man building the blocks building the blocks to their satanic success you know on the pyramid man they satanic 13 laws of power that satanic masonic trash witchcraft that they into man to get y'all to watch them through the media okay and these satanic blood sacrifices allegedly is all a part of it dude showed no tears all the way through seemed like he knew exactly what was going to happen to her man that he ain't get no fuck and this my opinion of truth you know y'all like hearing reaction videos and all that i got a lot of content for y'all but y'all like reaction video this my reaction you know um or my opinion as well allegedly man to dc young flies 
major blood sacrifice, man. And the reason, you know, um, why I'm finna break them down, and I know that this allegedly, I, I know, I believe it for sure, that this was a satanic blood sacrifice. He mentioned a story of Joseph within the Old Testament in reference to this blood sacrifice for Satan. Not for the creator of you and me. These weird demons of a satanic brotherhood, sisterhood, etc their god their lord anytime they say god or lord they talking about satan man okay when they say god their god is satan they got hella books and literature and stuff that they study for satan in their house man probably got built-in libraries and stuff a built-in section for satan you know satan's literature and stuff. they study this masonic satanic trash man to go up into levels and stuff like that they commune from a satanic brotherhood in a satanic brotherhood they is they communion okay he said at the beginning of this message he said at the beginning of this message as well it got cut off a bit it's an organization for satan and the peace symbol side note that they throw up a lot like it's just peace everything like they just saying peace that's really for that symbol that's twirling around right there that g with that compass bullshit that they be on they they are part of a satanic brotherhood and sisterhood and if he didn't sacrifice her she was gonna sacrifice him on the g hey no gang shit gay gay gang shit man but on the g like literally that grandmaster mason trash man <laughs> satanic trash and he gotta be down with the other hoods as well the lgtb etc <laughs> Now, when you look and see them posing and all that, you know, little different stuff, you can catch it. This is just for the ones who don't know. For the ones who woke, this is old stuff. You know, just got to do this to this DC Young Fly, man. You know, look at the eyes of him and Chris Tucker. Like, they've been doing a lot of hanging out. Chris Tucker been telling him them secrets of Satan, man, and how to get up in them levels, man, to get like him. Chris Tucker is his idol. Okay, this DC Young Flyer John want to be a king of comedy, man. Okay, and they see it in him, but it's a lot of more sacrifices that he got to do and rituals, man. You know, you can see it in, I'm going to say allegedly. I got to say allegedly. Okay, but um, you can see it. I can see it in their eyes, man. Like, they did a lot together. I would assume they energies to me intertwine so much where they look like each other in the eyes and allegedly could it be because of the satanic rituals that they performing together or something they got a connection a satanic connection definitely man they got a connection man a deep connection okay and dc young fly he willing to do anything to get that money what secrets is him and Chris Tucker is tucking, man. Only the most high, the creator of you and me knows. Cause they ain't gonna never come out right and just tell you what I'm saying, man. Allegedly, he know what's up, okay? And why he referenced the story of Joseph, okay? The story of Joseph within the Old Testament. He mentioned that story. He mentioned that story to um, recollect with this blood sacrifice that he was in the midst of, that he ain't give a damn about. I don't care what he say they love was fake and demonic you can't have no empathy when you work for satan this demon man is sold his soul man he ain't one of us no more talking about hebrew shalom brother no man that that was all fake during this highlight moment for satan during this satanic eulogy to send this girl off man okay and i believe that his baby mama was a real woman ain't gonna get too much into that man okay let me break them down real fast. The story of Joseph within their Old Testament, so-called Joseph. And I'm going to make a long story short. And I know about the letter J as well. But everything go deeper than even that. OK, Joseph had 11 brothers, you know, um, the father, so-called Joseph's father knew that Joseph was chosen and Joseph was favored by the creator of heaven and the earth in the Old Testament. OK, and joseph had 11 brothers that was hating and they ended up sending them off to be jailed man okay and ultimately joseph came out to be king okay so what was this guy talking about this guy ain't religious or nothing at all so-called religious or should i say spiritual at all for the creator of the heavens and the earth the creator of you and me he ain't referenced you know the actual scripture itself he said the story of joseph to make you think 
this satanic blood sacrifice that he in the midst of is a building block to his success, man. For him to ultimately come out of all these satanic blood sacrifices and hella rituals, etc. Being a king of comedy, the next Chris Tucker, man. Repre you know, on what he don't resemble him in the way he act a lot, you know. He got to get more demons in him, but he pretty much there, man, you know. And he got to do more, but... That's another thing that these satanic blood sacrifices is about. And the booty rituals, etc. All they nasty ass rituals, whatever else they be doing too. Allegedly, you know, to build up that demonic energy for when they do acting and all that. The new Friday. When this dude do the new Friday, man. Okay? With Ice Cube Sun in them. Okay? When he do the new, when he do the new rush hours and all that, you're gonna see him in all that, man. DC Young Fly or John. The new rush hours with Jackie Chan Sun and shit, etc. Touring and all that. Like on a Kevin Hart level he want to be there anyway okay he know he you he know he know he know this truth he want to be there anyway and then during these highlight moments of death okay they want you to have empathy and they ain't got no empathy at all for each other they want you to have empathy you know so when you see them out there in the movies and stuff like that to pay that money man it's all a satanic mind control and if you watch them the most they do is look like they on the verge of crime, but don't no tear ever come out. He show no emotion, just like the rest of them. They don't have no tears. And what they be talking about be scripted and fake, man. During they satanic highlight moments, okay, for they satanic success boost, man. And he cracked jokes in between. He knew the demons was watching him, man. And then told you how distressed he was with no tears because he worked for Satan, no empathy. And he ain't really give a damn about this lady i don't give a damn if they got no children how many of y'all got babies out here and y'all don't give a damn about that woman dude and even now no matter what i'm saying you know a lot of y'all down with sacrificing y'all baby mama and some kids and all that stuff for one million dollars even less you know if you could get away with it somehow a part of a satanic brotherhood or sisterhood in this dude position allegedly a lot of y'all do this shit man Straight up, y'all don't give a damn, and I'm saying that to say, y'all don't give a damn about no kids and no babies. Y'all had them out of lust, and I'm doing a message on that. It's not love, man. It's just lust. <laughs> That's all it is, man. If y'all relationship ain't based off of the creator of you and me only, hooked up by the creator of you and me only, and especially with this guy, this dude sold his soul to tell jokes and do comedy, man, and he want the most out of it, man. He gonna do more. To be the next Chris Tucker, a king of comedy, man. To have that Chris Tucker energy in them eyes and to act better and stuff like that during the movies, man. You know, during the comedy and stuff, during the stand up for Satan to bring him new jokes with the demons and all that. That's going to get some dummy to laugh and spend their money, man. <laughs> and be crying and shit for this nigga's satanic success. Like, being emotional oh he made it through he made it through like he said he was talking about it that eulogy man he making it through man man dc young fly looking ass then came up man hard man this nigga out there like we never seen them before man man god is with this nigga they god is satan man satan is god of their world and when you call on god and lord by intent you know with their bible you talking about lord God, you're talking about Baal, Satan, man. Within their Old Testament and their New Testament, man, especially with that Jesus of any form, man. And what's crazy, the niggas cursed so much, we got to find a little bit of truth we got left, which is all we need through their satanic Bible. Yep, the curses is the truth within their Bible. That's it. I'm going to say less for right now. I got some more messages breaking that down. Okay? The truth within their bible is the curses in deuteronomy you know what we went into the curses for and we went into all them curses for going against the creator of you and me only he has no son no physical son from a virgin birth etc within their new testament they go deeper into satanism lies a slew of satanism okay Y'all worshiping the sun outside that was created on the fourth day. Jesus already there. It's there. And it kept your ass hot during slavery. 
And y'all see this man, son worshiping scriptures even within their Old Testament. Okay, their Bible is a part of our curses as well. You got to be spiritually led by the creator of you and me to break down the little bit of truth that's left within their Bible. Then you got to go through a whole debacle that you had to go through to figure out it's about the niggas, slavery, etc. Okay, and they have y'all worshiping the sun outside. So who this nigga and this and this other dude, you know, the, the white one and the nigga that's coming to save you coming to save you that's that's outside so the other stuff is a lie from the devil and i'm here to break that satanic mk ultra with another video okay i'm gonna get back on topic about this dc young fly face devil and i'm doing this message as well because we are to expose wickedness man and y'all thought he was saying something righteous to y'all referencing the story of joseph okay when he was really talking about his own satanic greed you know, this satanic blood sacrifice subliminally and all his sacrifices he got to make and what he got to do to come out to be a king of comedy. Y'all going to see him out there these years to come. I'm telling you, allegedly, but I'm telling you, man, this the fire truth, the real truth, man. Y'all going to see this satanic sellout, although he out there now, y'all going to see him out there on a higher level for the devil, Satan to deceive more facts, man. OK, you may see him out there talking about we Hebrews shalom, brother, with them camps, you know, with them six point stars. That's a part of a satanic brotherhood as well. That's a part of the synagogues of Satan. Them camps that talk about a Yashisti shy coming to save you. The black version. Yeah, man. All that's tied into the organization of the satanic brotherhood led by demons, the media, multi-ethnic demons in action amongst us man they gonna show themselves one day soon man these demons okay they messing with the air quality etc i got y'all with so many different messages man i don't want to make this too long i'm gonna go ahead and shut it down man um these celebrities you know these people if they real people go watch the movie they cloned tyrone they told y'all a lot they showed a lot within that movie, except the demons themselves, man. Okay, that's running this system in Satan. Okay, and the satanic bloodline. They showed the underground functions and all that stuff that they doing right now. But they made a movie out of it. Go watch it on Netflix, man. Okay, they cloned Tyrone. I'm going to say less if you didn't see the movie, but it showed how they underground experimenting on people while they're clone version of them is up running to and fro in the world and that's just a little bit of the truth they showed within that movie they didn't show the actual demons that live they live in these demons they live man that gave us this technology we use and they watching us 24 7 the media Okay, it's all a big organization. It's their organization. It's their brotherhood. Demons amongst us, Nephilim, that's talked about in Genesis. These celebrities, everything they do is scripted. During a highlight moment, they are part of the organization. Like that creepy ass movie, they clone Tyrone. They satanic sellouts. Allegedly, I'm saying for YouTube, but I believe it, man. All right. And um, this was just a real quick message. I'm going to say less. I could say much more. I can go on and on and on. Okay. About they satanic brotherhood, sisterhood, LGBT hood, satanic hood. While they wearing hoods at these rituals, penetrating and all that stuff. I'm going to go on and shut this down, man. It's King David. And I'm out. I got other messages coming up, man. This was just a real quick message, man. Whoever got what they got out of it, got it, man. All praise be to the creator of you and me only forever. And DC Young Fly or John, which is his real name, he did that, man. He did that. And he going to do that. And he got the kids. I'm going to say less. Okay. Y'all know how they get down with that pizza gate and all that stuff, too. He know. He know. Allegedly, okay, he got to go through all that, get through it. He going to get through that. He going to do that up and coming stuff. He going to do that sacrifices, rituals. Okay, allegedly he going to do that. 
all to come out in the end why he referenced the story of Joseph to be a king of comedy, to be a like a Chris Tucker, whatever secrets they tucking together, but to be better than a Chris Tucker. Y'all going to see the best demonic version of this dude in the movies and all that with his emotions and stuff like that. Y'all got emotions for him and he don't have no emotions during this highlight moment of this satanic ritual allegedly okay but within the movies them some more highlight moments because that's what he's doing all this for you're going to see his you're going to see his higher self through satan to be a better version of a chris tucker you're going to see his emotions crying in the friday and all that and you're going to be crying with him like he lost his baby mama he lost his he, he lost this he lost that and he made it he got through he got through dc young fly got through you're going to see his emotion in the movies and all that you're going to see his stand-up comedy and stuff got better demonically and all that and i know i may not be 100 percent correct as far as his path gonna go with the movies but if he do that if he um be a lead star have a lead role in that friday movie that they finna um do the new version of it with the ice cube son and shit i believe and in the movie chris tucker his dad or something to that effect he gonna have a big role i was on point with this one if he just so happened to do any rush hour you know a new rush hour you know um some high level money stuff with jackie chan son and shit like chris tucker did i'm on point man i'm on point i see it clear as day i see it i see it happening for dude you know the satanic blessings you know for the sacrifices all right all right i'm gonna say less i'm finna go and shut this down allegedly this king david shalom man one love